When smart TVs debuted in 2008, they were considered a luxury in a world where internet connected TVs seemed unnecessary. Fast forward to today and every new TV is smart enabled, packed with features we now find indispensable. A similar shift is unfolding in the webcam space with innovative brands pushing the boundaries of what a webcam can be. Leading this charge are the Link 2 and Link 2C from Insta360. With the global surge of teleconferencing, remote work, and live streaming, these webcams offer a ton of next-gen features to meet today's evolving demands. This makes the Link 2 series aimed at professionals, educators, live streamers, and anyone else who needs more than a basic run-of-the-mill webcam that's remained largely unchanged for decades. At a glance, both webcams feature a half-inch sensor that captures up to 4K at 30 FPS and advanced AI capabilities to eliminate background noise, automatically track your movement, respond to hand gestures, and more. The key difference between the models is that the Link 2 is equipped with a gimbal for robust AI tracking and wider motion range that's ideal for dynamic use cases like content creation and online teaching, while the Link 2C's omission of a gimbal lends itself to stationary environments such as video conferencing and light movement scenarios. But regardless of the model, the large sensor delivers a razor sharp 4K image that captures a ton of detail. It might even show all of my physical flaws if I had any. Let's compare the image quality to one of the best selling webcams of all time, the Logitech C922 Pro. Sorry in advance, little buddy. To its credit, the C920 series was the gold standard of webcams for years. In fact, there's a fair chance you owned one at some point, which is what makes this comparison so crazy, when side by side the Link 2 looks significantly more crisp than the C922 Pro, which maxes out at 1080p. But resolution is tip of the iceberg. The Link 2 is also way better at handling exposure, producing more accurate colors, and white balancing. The stark contrast in quality is more apparent in low light environments, with the Link 2 showing a clear picture, while the C922 Pro looks like a VHS tape from 1998. Here's the Link 2 after killing all the lights, except for the monitors and some RGB glow from my mini fridge. It actually looks super reasonable, all things considered. Can't say the same for the C922 Pro. It looks terrible. This looks like if Jeffrey Dahmer was on Omegle. The Link 2 webcams also feature HDR to balance shadows and highlights for a properly exposed image. This is especially helpful when you're backlit by a window or other light source, and you can clearly see how much better the Link 2 handles this scene. It's not even close. The autofocus is chef's kiss, as both models feature phase detection autofocus, or PDAF. Any object I hold up close to the lens snaps into focus instantly, and once the object is out of sight, the webcam refocuses on my face just as quickly. The speed and accuracy is top notch here and instills a lot of confidence that you or your subject are always sharp. The most powerful tool of the Link 2 series is arguably its built-in AI capabilities that make it light years ahead of what a basic webcam can do. Take its assortment of noise canceling features, for example. Voice focus enhances clarity when a single person is speaking, even when loud background noise is present. And the difference this makes is insane. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Apart from the suite of audio features, the webcams also leverage AI for real-time tracking and framing. As if you have your own camera operator, the Link 2 will automatically track individuals or groups with its two-axis gimbal while keeping subjects in focus. To start or stop AI tracking, simply tap the touch key on the front of the webcam, or flash the camera with an open palm, one of several hand gestures used to control the device in a pinch. In the Insta360 controller software, you can set whether you want AI to track an individual or a group of people at once. In my experience, the tracking works pretty damn well. I tried to trick it a few times into losing me, but it does a solid job of locking onto a subject and never letting go. See, it's not that hard, is it? Just saying. The controller software even has a pause track area that lets you set boundaries to control when tracking starts and stops. This is particularly useful for presenting or dynamic live streams with stop and go movement. Meanwhile, the Link 2C supports auto framing, an intelligent zoom method that keeps multiple people centered in frame. I was unable to test this thoroughly because I have no friends. Not only does the Link 2 series have a trove of powerful features, it offers a ton of versatility as well with a multitude of control options. As previously mentioned, you can use hand gestures to conveniently control the webcams. In addition to showing your palm to toggle AI tracking and auto framing, you can also point upwards to zoom in and out or flash a peace sign to activate whiteboard mode. 
If throwing up gang signs to your webcam isn't your thing, you can start controlling them within seconds using a QR code, no mobile app required. This offers the flexibility to fine tune your framing without having to babysit your keyboard. And I found the mobile controls to be surprisingly smooth and responsive. Then there's the Insta360 controller software, which offers the fullest range of settings and functionality. Not only does it feature full gimbal control and image parameter settings, but it lets you set up to six custom preset positions that the gimbal will jump to at the click of a mouse. Being able to switch between scenes so efficiently offers an extensive range of possibilities for any scenario. This is definitely one of my favorite features in the app. The software includes a number of virtual backgrounds, such as a blurred or bokeh effect, this cafe that definitely overcharges for a latte, and you can even add your own background to set the right mood for your next work meeting. The Link 2 cameras also support a number of handy modes for different scenarios. You can trigger your landscape purism with portrait mode, which lets you stream uncropped 9x16 vertical content in full 4K 30fps. You'll need to pick up something like Insta360's mini 2-in-1 tripod to make it happen, but looking this cool on social media is totally worth it. Desk view mode automatically tilts down the camera to focus on your desk. Perfect for displaying your work area, doing live booster pack openings, or showing off that sweet new keyboard build. And because you don't want the NSA surveilling your nether regions, privacy mode is a welcome addition. After 10 seconds of inactivity, the Link 2 automatically tilts down to keep you hidden, while the Link 2C features a built-in privacy switch that can be closed manually. And by the way, this switch has no business feeling this good. It's, it's seriously so satisfying. It even sounds nice. I could do this all day. Why does it feel so good? These are easily the craziest webcams I've seen, which is pretty impressive with so many options on the market. The image quality is killer, of course, but that's not unique to other high-end models out there. It's their ability to look great in any scenario, the actually useful AI features, the versatility, and the polished software loaded with options that puts the Link 2 series in a league of its own. While I think the average person can still get by just fine with a standard webcam, content creators, professionals, and those with greater demands brought on by the changing times will probably give these one-eyed gremlins their strong consideration. I'll put links to the Link 2 and Link 2C in the description if you want to check them out. That is all for this one though, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good one, and I will see y'all in the next video.